Now, from diplomacy to territories, and from trade to technology, for decades China and the United States have been marked by several disputes vying for global dominance. Now, their newest playing field in recent years has been Africa, and the latest frontier, artificial intelligence. In the latest, the U.S. and China will hold their first talks on artificial intelligence, with Washington set to raise concerns about Beijing's use of the technology. Both China and the U.S. have stepped up efforts to collaborate with African countries on attracting AI investment and formulating policy. The United States has already invested in AI in Africa. Silicon Valley giant Google opened its first AI lab in Ghana. IBM also has research facilities in Kenya and South Africa. Last month, the American Chamber of Commerce held a business summit in Nairobi. Washington announced a partnership to enable U.S. companies to invest in AI and data centers in Kenya. While the U.S. has provided substantial aid to African countries. China's approach has been different. It has focused on infrastructure investments. In fact, China began its commercial engagements in Africa in the late 1990s. Since 2013, Beijing has been investing in Africa's internet infrastructure and connectivity through President Xi Jinping's Belt and Road Initiative. Now, China also declared its intention to collaborate with African countries on AI. At the China-Africa Internet Summit last month, some 20 African countries were a part of the summit in China's port city of Xiamen. Now, China also pushed for the establishment of Africa AI policy, as well as the promotion of AI technology research and development in African institutions. A handful of African countries, including Rwanda. Egypt and Mauritius have published national AI strategies. Others, including Nigeria, Kenya, and South Africa, are developing similar strategies. But there are growing calls to adopt regulation of AI on the continent. One country on the continent that is rapidly pursuing AI is South Africa. South Africa has already established an artificial intelligence institute and is rolling out hubs at universities across the country. Both the U.S. and China see South Africa as a gateway into Africa and the developing countries' agenda. Now, African leaders will have a chance to adopt African Union's AI policy draft framework at next year's AU Heads of State Summit in February. Getting AI right would allow Africa to tap into its immense potential applications in new areas, including health, education, and agriculture. According to reports, AI could add 1.5 trillion dollars to Africa's economy by the year 2030, if the continent can capture just 10 percent of the market. Now, China has been leading the AI race by a considerable margin. Its、uh, president Xi Jinping had set the goal of becoming the global AI leader by the year 2030, and with China's AI growth, there seemed little doubt over who would win the tech race. But the year 2023 changed the game around. The unprecedented growth of the U.S.-based OpenAI's ChatGPT raised eyebrows in China. Beijing has still not been able to compete with it. Its own versions thereafter lag behind the American one in multiple ways. So, for AI, will Africa turn toward China or the U.S.? This increased focus on artificial intelligence in Africa comes at a time when、uh, there is a simmering anti-West sentiment in several African nations as they tilt towards China and Russia. But will the shift in sentiment also apply to collaboration on the AI front? That remains to be seen. First Post reports from the world's second-largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. 
I will track the election and bring you ground reports. Is it the end of the road for the African National Congress? And will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections, to climate change, to innovations, and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.